Hello, we are back live three weeks out from the first show of the year, Nava Wales. Um, we do these updates now since 12.5 weeks out. This is the fourth one. Um, won't be the last, so today I'm going to touch on the prep so far and what I've been doing, um, what I found, um, training wise, diet plan, um, supplementation, any different protocols we've done, and also I can answer any questions anyone who's listening may have about uh, my prep and so on. So, first of all, like I said, prep's been really good. Um, so far, up until a week out, a week ago anyway. Um, anybody who's watched my current videos will know what I've been doing. So, the carb cycling, the car increasing the cardio, training has been saying the same. If you haven't watched them, just click back um, and look back from 12 weeks out. You can also visit my website, christianwilliamspt.com, and it will all saved on there. Um, as of the last week, or since last Thursday, I started developing a bit of a gastric issue in my stomach anyway, obviously, um, a lot of acid, um, which just got progressively worse. Meals become very hard, um, although I was eating them, it was painful, it just felt like food was sitting on top of food. This went on for a week. Um, and then being obviously the carbs like in the low days was quite okay. It's just I found the high days the amount of food I had to eat was quite hard. So um, we were eating it, getting it done, getting the card done. It was quite painful, but we got through it. But then going, um, I had to go to the doctors on Monday because Sunday I was just in bed, um, knotted up couldn't finish my last two meals. Like I said, my stomach was just full of gas. And every meal I put on top of that, I just felt like it was going to explode. So when the doctors Monday, they gave me some medication, which seemed to help. But um, by Thursday, I kind of went to work, got down there, I had to get, leave and go home because the pain was just horrendous. I spent all day from Thursday up to 12 in bed, knocked it up. And severe pain in my stomach. Uh, Messing my coach what to do. He said to um, just fast for 24 hours. The last meal I had to it was 11 o'clock. So I did. I fasted. Like I said, it was not up really bad. Um, and then after about five hours, I was back up for the loo, vomiting, uh, passing everything I had inside my belly. Constantly all night, like I said, they didn't leave the bed apart from just going to the toilet and get back. And the pain was just really horrendous. Like I said, I didn't even have the energy to reply to any texts. I literally um, was in a bad state mentally as well. I was kind of no we one just over three weeks out from my show. But luckily, I woke up Thursday morning, stomach was okay. Didn't eat up until 11 o'clock because that was a plan. Um, although I lost half a stone in weight seven pounds from one day to the next um, i was just happy that my stomach was all right and then i was able to sleep. like i said slowly able to keep the food back in and i've been doing so the last few days so my weight is slowly getting back up again i'm limiting what I'm doing in terms of food quantity, keeping it quite small, um, avoiding any vegetables, um, avoiding anything acidic that could cause any issues in my stomach, like obviously vinegar, coffee, any pineapple, um, any spices, just all bland food, although that's what we're doing anyway. So um, luckily enough, I feel a lot better today. I feel happy. I feel like I can get on my prep. Obviously, my weight is still down, but that's not really concerned because we didn't refill that back up and so on. So, um, I will talk a little bit more on in a sec. I just see if anyone else uh, clocks on. So, um, John King there giving away any secrets. Um, old, something back, you've got to be better to be watching. 
I hope you do watch um, the bull more broke the net <laughs> thank you John hope you well John um, no secrets but you know just hard work training dieting consistency so the coach put a plan in place James Llewellyn and I'm just really ticking the boxes and so far prep has been awesome apart from obviously the week I discussed which was horrendous prep has been um, just to the T just everything's been happening body's been changing quite dramatically over the last few weeks so I'm happy with that um, so yeah that was last week um, this week like I said since Thursday been uh, since yes since yesterday slowly creeping the food back in allowing myself to fill back out and I'm just really thankful that I can eat without um, causing any gastric issues so since the last um, blog I did, obviously that would have been six weeks out. Um, obviously we removed all adjectives from the diet, any artificial sweetener, any seasonings, um, no pre-workouts, no supplements at all, so no BCAAs, no protein powders, no sweetness in my coffee, no sugar features, nothing with anything artificial in. And that seemed to do wonders for my physique, really. The water just started dropping off me very quick since I did that. So, um, and I don't know about yourself, but whoever's watching, or if you do watch this anyway, but when you're dieting, um, and you're dieting really hard, you tend to reach for these things you think are acceptable, like chewing them, you know, you go for a pack a day or pack a week, 20 minutes, you know, just trying to get that taste really, we like it from our food, coffees, you know, going up, adding more sweetness, sugar free syrups, you know, if people did drink diet drinks, you know, diet sodas, just to, just to make up the fact they're lacking that taste, but all these are no response in the body, they're all chemicals, um, with my physique anyway, it definitely found a massive um, effect from doing this, so, um, I guess I'm three weeks out today, that was going really well, um, obviously last week was a bit of a dive, but really happy with where I am, just need to fill back out. Training obviously over the next few weeks is going to be slightly adjusted, it's going to be focusing a lot more squeezes and time under tension or a mind to muscle connection, isometric contractions, a lot more isolation work and just backing off all the big compound lifts. Um, but still trying to push my body hard enough that I maintain that muscle mass. Maybe throw in a couple of drop sets here and there just to increase that volume. Um, and I'll push more, more calories out and get up to the drier condition. So, what I found different from this prep to previous preps is um, probably backing off the volume a little bit in terms of my training. So, I've been over killing it. Um, I've had a tendency in the past to do too much, especially the closer I come to a show, although my energy levels seem to be more depleted, I tend to, um, my mental focus just goes through the roof and I just don't know when to stop. And that has a tendency to leave my physique very beaten up looking, very empty, very knotted and unbalanced and just battered so this year obviously training with James told me a lot um, we just been doing a lot more working sets nothing really to maximum exhaustion just a failure rest and then go again and I think that's well hopefully you'll see in a few weeks time that's gonna have a different look on my physique my, my physique tends to be a little bit more or a lot more or less in balance now and healthy um it doesn't look beaten up at the moment my legs are a little bit empty now because of the drop in the weight of the last couple of days but um that will change obviously with today's food going in um with a bit of a refeed tonight but like i said the next few weeks we'll start increasing the intensity level um, cardio at the moment is the same as it was probably six weeks ago, so an hour in the morning, fasted, usually on the cross trainer. On the weekends I tend to take the dog out for an hour, power walking because the gym doesn't open till eight. And I'm up quarter past six, um, getting my cardio done, so an hour in the morning fasted, usually followed by a little bit of pausing practice, um, or abdominal work, and then 30 minutes post-workout um, in the afternoon. 
you all done on the cross trainer uh, like I said apart from on the weekends when I'm out power walking so an hour and a half cardio on my days off I don't do any weights which is I train five days one week and then six days the other and then back to five days and on the days off I don't do any weights I don't do that second part cardio session why I train five days one week and six days the other is because we only been training quads every other week so every other week um, I had another session where I do quads on the own then obviously the week after I'm not doing quads it's only a five day workout week so I um, give another rest day and that rest day is very important um, I know being bodybuilders we don't really like to take that rest because we, we just think we are at home we just need to keep punishing our body but if that's the mentality then which is great but you can punish your body a lot more and you can push yourself a lot harder if you've recovered fully from the last workout, so that's something I've learned. The rest days are very important, not just important to recover, obviously, and look at all, but obviously important to allow you to train even harder when you're back in the gym. So um, I have been taking a bit more rest now in the past. I tend to just train every day, and again, that's had a good effect on my physique as well. I think food this year. Um, over the last year, what current preps I've done, a lot more um, carbs have been kept in, I've had zero days, so we started, um, we were cycling that, that high and low day, going back a few weeks, um, but as of two weeks ago, I believe, our high day went really high, so around 360 grams of carbs, and then our low day went to zero. So I was dropping 1,600 calories, just under 1,600 calories from one day to the next. And that was having a very big impact on my body. Um, just, and the way I felt really, felt like a punch in the face every day. In the days where I was eating the carbs, it was just making me lethargic and exhausted. And then obviously the next day when I was on zero carbs, it was um, just for energy levels were just wiped. But it was having a really positive effect on my physique. My body fat was coming down really well and my fullness was maintaining and that was always a plan so kind of how we feel is pushed aside, it's more about how we look and the goal is being met and looking fuller and tighter every day then obviously that's a win-win for everyone. Um, as of last week, four weeks out things changed again, obviously now we've removed any, um, any other additional fats or saturated fats and even all the healthy fats really we've kind of gone to a very zero fat diet from egg whites turkey and chicken a little bit of fat in the chicken but we cut things out like the salmon the steak the, um, the extra oils we were adding to the meals the egg yolks the almond butters i was having in the evening so um i was around around 85 grams of fat and that was the same for the prep so 16 weeks out we started with um with a combination of different types of protein with additional fats and carbs and, and obviously um, a nice balanced diet we played around with the carbs cycling from the low medium high low and high just changing around every few weeks but the fat content kept the same for the diet which was about 85 grams of fat and then obviously last week we've taken that out so um, definitely feed it huh? especially on my low carb days because now I'm on low carb, zero carb and zero fat um, which is you know just over a thousand grams of calories, a thousand calories a day on these days so again it's, it's definitely having an impact on the way I feel but more importantly the way I look is definitely making me look a bit better and I do honestly think that three weeks out I'm looking probably close to how better than I've ever looked. Um, obviously we've got another couple of weeks to play and I'm feeling good um, apart from what we've been ill in the last week which made me kind of like back a step in terms of my fullness but not so much in my condition. My condition's improved actually. It's just trying to fill it back out. So um, on, the, on the plus note I think you hear the back and forth the loop all day just empty my bowels um, and I feel like I have a chronic because now the food is having a far better digestion and absorption. I feel a lot more energy from the food. 
I haven't got any bloat at all. My waist is tight and flat. Um, and although what I did since obviously been putting the food back in, I took out anything that I thought would um, would have upset in my stomach. So I removed all the vegetables. Um, and my meals have just been very small and bland. You know, we're talking about um, just sweet potato and all skin and turkey breast. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt and nothing else, which has allowed me to my metabolism creep up, the food's digesting quick, my body's absorbing very quick, even without the fiber. Um, and it's just making me hungry and starving, so it's definitely a good thing, it's definitely a good and positive result. Moving forward to what we want, um, and here we are a few weeks out, so fresh over the year. It's going to be Napa Wales on the 6th of May in Riverside Theatre. If you haven't been to there before, it's the first, first time you've done this venue last year. Um, check it out. And it's a really good venue. I'm hoping it's going to be a really good show. And then I'm going to do the PCA Welsh then um, three weeks after that. And that's obviously my Ganesha Gelsey show down in um, Talbot in the Princess um, Royal. Theatre, I believe it's called, and then with a bit of luck, we'll qualify for the both finals of the PCA and ABBA, which will be subjected week after week. Then, and then um, I think we've closed down for the year. Then, four shows at the moment. I'm feeling really good. I can see not many people have checked in today, but that's fine because you can watch these videos back and even saw these videos. As much as I'm trying to give a little bit of something back, if people tune in and watch, and great. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, another reason why I'm doing it is just for myself, so I can reflect back in a few years' time, or even next year, or even a couple of weeks' time, and just see what I changed and what I didn't. Although I do keep a record of everything I do for the preps in terms of my weight, every time um, my food changes, my training, I kind of record it so I can reflect back. Mike Lewis, we are doing the same shows. What, what shows are you doing, Mike? Are you doing the Nava Wales as well or the PCA? Our same shows, I'm guessing we're doing both. Oh, that's good. I'm guessing we're going to be in the same class because you're probably going to say Mike with me. And um, we've got a good physique, so it'll be interesting. How's prep going? You know, he's on and he's off. So anyway, um, that's where we are now. I've had three meals so far. I trained. I took two days off training when I was ill. Um, coaches orders. I I I realised throughout this prep. All the four days. Okay, so that's good. I was prep going. Enjoying it. So yeah, um, I realized from this prep that I need to be coached because, um, like I said, Thursday would not have been bad all day. Didn't have the strength to text, didn't have the strength, but I would have probably found the energy to drag myself to the gym and train. And then James texted me and said he's um, not training for the next two days. And I'm like, okay, done. So um, yeah, I took two days off training. Started by training yesterday, no cardio in the morning. Getting on this weight training, and I trained on kicks in Swansea, which is a very good gym. I'm very impressed with that. Um, loads of different kit, and I definitely come back down for a visit. I trained with the wife yesterday. Um, Carly Williams is also competing in a few weeks' time, and she's looking good, coming in every week. Really big inspiration of mine, and she is um, just a discipline to a diet as me, so. Um, which I am, well the prep is not cheap, it's nothing enters my mouth and nothing enters my mind to cheat. If uh, my coach says to do it, I'll do it, if you say don't, do it. So anyway, I took two days off, trained yesterday, did my cardio this morning, trained on in Kildunin, 
um, my Jaleesa gym, uh, GH, and if, guys, if any of you are watching and you haven't been there, you've got to check this gym out because I trained all over and I love all the gyms in, in the nearby area, but there's something about this gym, the energy and the atmosphere, there's so many competitors in them, male and female, um, I can lease both competitors for years himself and in the industry and see how many people and it's just got that buzz that just makes me want to train hard they welcome the fact that you just push yourself to the limit and vomit just spoon buckets everywhere but everyone is you know um encouraging and supportive there's no arrogance and ignorance it's just all train hard and that's you know that's all we want so you see couple night uh guh gym um so i trained on there i've had three meals so far I got another free to eat and I got a refeed meal tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. And this is going to be Nando's again. That's what I've been using for my choice of refeeds um, when I have had them over this prep. A few reasons. Um, first, being I'm a creature of habit, so I love once I find something I like, I just stick to it because I get very disappointed if I don't like it. Another reason is it's just clean, you know, although we got chips and we fried, the chicken's grilled. Um, the rice you know, is, is probably the cleanest thing you're going to have and I do recommend all my clients on the only feeds and cheat unless you need some very naughty like that burgers or big mix of just to get the fats in there and the salts like um, I did one of my clients today actually um, two of my clients today who are prepping just looking at the easy thing that's what they need but again I always choose in and um, and have the same meal every time I go because I know it does have a good effect on my body. Um, let's have a look. Uh, back in coach. That's good, Mike. Um, it's hard, buddy, but it, uh, are you doing it? I'm, <laughs> I'm in Tesco. I'm not talking to myself. I'm doing a live video feed, uh, feed here. <laughs> Do you want to come and say hello? <laughs> come and say hello. I'm in Tesco's coffee, uh, coffee, coffee area, so uh, I look like a bit of a weirdo talking on here. Um, yeah, it's good to have a coach, like I said, just put in mind that he's, although it's hard, but he, you know, a couple of weeks' time now and it'll be worth it. And just focus on the result. Don't focus too much on the food after the show. Focus on getting up there and looking your best, I'm sure you will. Um, does your protein to change much in your day? No, Richard. Um, Hope you well, Richard. Looking good as well. I've been seeing your post, buddy. Looking really good. I know um, I haven't been up to my protein or my fats on my low days. Um, obviously, now the fats are up on my diet. I'm zero fats. Everything else has been kept the same, so I haven't been taking my calories up to match the, the carbs coming down. Protein at the moment and throughout this prep has been lower than it's been in the past because obviously I've been having a lot more carbs. So I've been aiming for about 45 grams of protein a meal over six meals with no protein shakes after training, just all solid meals. So we talking, you know, around close to 300 grams of protein um, or under 300 grams, but let's say around 300 grams of protein throughout the day spread over six meals obviously on the on the zero carb day or the zero fat day it doesn't change and that's why my calories are so low in these days and that's why it's having such an effect and impact on my energy levels but that's the point really if um your body will will obviously convert whatever you put in and if you have too much protein as well it's obviously going to start breaking protein down and using that for fuel so that's kind of something we don't really want to encourage because obviously with the when the the diet goes low till i have a good day <laughs> when obviously the diet gets more restricted your body doesn't really be breaking down them aminos and converting to glycogen because we want to encourage to come from the fat obviously if you remove the fat too low for too long um your body can have a tendency to try and hold the fat um because obviously it needs fat for survival um, for brain function, um, cell membrane, just it needs just um, installation anyway. So you got to be careful. But I'm sure over the next couple of weeks, if that was going to happen, James is probably going to give me some 
refeeds of fatty days just to keep that encouraging that muscle to stay full and when you're breaking down that fatty acids and that's another thing as well when when your diet is really restricted on carbohydrates people feel sometimes say you know about staying full but providing you got fat on you or you put in fatty acids you can maintain that fullness You can maintain that fullness, so um, to answer your question, no, it doesn't change. Protein stays exactly the same, fat content stays the same, and just the, the carbs go up and down, and just shut it in the muscle and shut it out, and obviously the idea behind that is to trick the brain to think in that um, you're not in starvation mode, so by the carbs going in, and then obviously the next day when you're in that really low depleted state, then obviously it's going to hopefully turn to that body fat for fewer, um, excuse me, um, turn to fewer, so you get nice and full. So any other questions um, regarding my prep, what can I talk about more, I, um, I'm going to be checking out soon. So in terms of my mental state, this prep is really good. Um, working with James, I've got to be honest, we, we did three shows last year after the well, she helped me out. Um, he mentored, mentored me over the off season, keep my weight down, which has had a very impacting effect on how I, I looked. Um, this off season was a lot different to a lot, any other off season. We were trying to maintain my weight as close to stage or you know, within a stone and a half of stage competition as we could. A weight that is, and, and we kind of did, which in the off season felt like I was small. Um, strength still good, but obviously, mental. Obviously, when we started prep, we were in a far better position. And James is really good, he keeps um, monitoring things very closely, tweaking the diet if things ain't happening. It's adjusted carbs go in, carbs go out, fats go up, fat go down, cardio increases, cardio backs off. Um, he's got so much knowledge and tricks up his sleeve that um, it's definitely been one of the best preps I've done so far, touch this table would you? Um, and at the same time it just makes me really relaxed knowing that um, I just listen to what he says and I can just be relaxed because it was the thinking out for me um, and I don't have to think about whether I need to eat more or eat less. Obviously I do when I give him the, the feedback he needs, like I send him the information every day or whenever, you know, probably a bit too much in terms of how I feel I'm looking, if I'm depleted and so on and um, but then he gives a go and I just fall on that um, that's one thing that's massively helped me this year um, focus is through the roof um, stress is minimum I just feel very relaxed and if you bumped into me now you probably wouldn't even know that for yourself on the show apart from my face is coming down and I'm looking like a little boy I feel really um, calmly focused, still doing everything I need to do, still at my cardio, still um, training hard, still doing pause and practice, but at the same time I just feel very positive um, and I feel in a very good state of mind for this prep and I have done from day one um, and I'm excited. So I'm um, just going to keep doing what i got to do now and finish the job, um, win loads of draw. Obviously, we're going to, to get the best result, but at the same time, if I can look a lot more improved than I did last year, then I've already won in terms of for what I want to achieve. And I know that will be the case because we're not going to do nothing dramatic over the next few weeks. It's going to be everything is going to be plain simple. I don't think we're going to do any massive loading up process or depletion. It's just going to be a, a case of maintaining our fullness and dryness and widening in. So um, I'm looking forward to that, and then obviously we've got three weeks, and then we've got another show then. So like I said, we haven't been, I haven't taken any supplements for the last four weeks. Um, at first it was quite difficult, obviously, diet, and you kind of rely on your pre-workouts, and you enjoy workouts and that taste. I haven't had to chew them for a month, I haven't had anything sweet, um, apart from two weeks ago I had a muffin and a brownie after my knuckles, which was what I was allowed for my refeed. But in terms of on a daily basis, there's been no artificial ingredients going in, no sodas, no BCAs, and um, as much as it was hard at first, I think first, 
I really think it's um, it's had a massive beneficial effect. You. So if you're listening and you're watching, and you have a lot of artificial sweeteners, just cut them out and for a week or two and just see the difference. I guarantee um, it starts changing for the better. So that's where I am. I'm three weeks out. Sugar free jelly? No. No. I, I would not. Uh, definitely not have that. Some people do it. Some people, some pro bodybuilders drinking liters of Diet Coke and sugar free this and sugar free that. But th this, whether this is right or not, right? Whether the calories are in there and whether it has an insulin support response or not, there's something about. When you're actually dieting really hard and your foods are bland and you actually don't feel like you're suffering but you don't feel like it's just too like if I was eating sugar free jelly and if I was drinking diet coke every day and if I was having you know um, protein bars or whatever I honestly wouldn't feel like I was dieting and there's something about that that's going to trigger my brain I believe and stop the release of fat because I would feel too comfortable even if the calories were in and even so there's got to have a response in the body, like it's not like you're eating fresh air, you're eating something, you know, what is it made of, like it's made of chemicals, it's going to have a reaction, so if you shred it and you're looking dry and you're looking tight and you're doing it and keep doing it, if you coach it, it's cool, but everyone I work with personally, um, I cut out from, from day one, I, I never, I never, I put them on the diet and I make it strict that this is what I want them to have. And this is what I wanted to follow because I need to know that what they're following is giving the result of what I'm seeing. And if I find out that they're having, you know, um, a kind of diet coke with every meal and a bowl of sugar free jelly and, you know, 10 scoops of PCA powder for breakfast, and, and then I'm looking at pictures and I'm assessing what I think they've got, and how can I make the evaluation and the judgment of what they actually are. So um, I would say no. Any more questions? Anybody watching? Because I'm going to close it down. Now the wife is waiting for me, and she's been a bit poorly today. Bless her. She had to come home from work um, early, so she's waiting off the bus stop. I've got to take her home. She's going to spend a few hours in bed. Um, I'm hoping she hasn't got the virus, because that's another thing with myself is as well as the stomach bug. As I was vomiting and being sick, I was freezing cold and sweating constantly on, on that day. So I'm hoping that I am past the virus on to her because, like I said, she's prepping too. And this is something she could do without. So any other questions before I go? Um, anything I can discuss further? Um, I just want to do a shout out, obviously. I thank my coach, James Llewellyn. It's had a massive effect and impact on my prep uh, mentally and physically over the last, I would say, 12 months. Um, shout out to P&I, yeah. my sponsors, um, who are great. I don't know why you're using any supplements at the moment in terms of uh, BCAs or free workout and so on. They are supplying me with everything I need, like um, my multivitamins, my vitamin C, um, my digestive enzyme, my probiotics, um, my magnesium, my ZME, my, uh, what else am I taking? My Papuna has T6, um, my fish oils, um, everything I need really. So they provide me with everything else, so shout out to them. And they're always there checking and making sure I've got everything. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting back on these supplements because they do have a really good effect. And I love Turbo, it's um, definitely helps me get through my work. And then the BCA powder tastes great, but like I said, we just we just removing everything. Um, shout out to um, Jane's wife Melissa, she's a great friend as well. She's very supportive. My wife obviously Carly Williams is doing a prep and she's there one hundred percent. All my clients prepping for their shows or holidays or dieting and getting in shape or wherever they go with them be their motivation to keep going obviously inspires me to keep on. All my family, friends, and everybody is watching these videos. So keep watching. Like and Lisa Gels as well at uh, Kildon and Jim. Really been supporting, helping me out with some pausing practice um, and just encouraging me to train hard and just give me some tips and advice. And every time I get to pick their brains, I do. And they're lovely people. So thank you all for watching. If you did, 
if you didn't have a chance to ask anything, you want to just message below and I will reply. So have a good day, keep training hard, and just think, every time you feel like you're giving everything, you probably can always go a little bit more. Just dig deeper. Hang in there, Mike, good luck with the last couple of weeks of prep, buddy. I'll see you there. Richard, hope things go well. Definitely looking great. And peace. Hashtag no more.